Hello everyone! Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. I'm Power Ranger Fan 3501 and today is Friday, August 5th. It is currently 1.30 p.m. And guys, if you can tell, I'm here at my dad's house. I've been here since Wednesday. Um, I'm actually staying here till tomorrow probably. Um, because I'm actually going somewhere tomorrow that my dad's helping me with. Uh, cause my friends are having a yard sale and I'm going there to sell some of my stuff. So, obviously, I don't know if you guys can tell behind me, I'm gonna show you guys in a second. But, uh, I've made a big decision. As you guys are aware, I'm a Power Ranger collector. I've shown you guys things in, on my channel, like my entire collection, from Beast Morphers, to the Lightning Collection, to Dino Fury. And the Ninja Steel stuff that's sitting in my dad's closet. Well, when I flip this camera, you guys are gonna see my new workshop, which is in my room, because I am working on getting everything prepared for tomorrow. So let's flip the camera and you guys will see. So here we have everything here's some of the boxes um we're selling all the beast morpher stuff now originally i wasn't gonna sell any of it but then i decided to so i got boxes over there i got most of the toys down there a box there i'm selling all of the power ranger stuff that you guys currently see in front of you now why am i doing this well, when I flip the camera back, you guys will know. Um, so the reason I am selling all that plus the stuff in the closet in the next room is because I am trying to save money to get a car. Now, as much as it kills me to get rid of any of my Power Ranger stuff, especially the first season that Hasbro ever did, um, you know, I don't care about the Ninja Steel because that's like years down the line. But Beast Morphers was literally three years ago and two years ago. And I collected everything. Action figures, Zords, weapons, Morphers, anything. And I even bought two Japanese... Or no, sorry. Three things from the Japanese uh, Go Busters line that was not released in America. But unfortunately, they were just sitting in my toy box at home collecting dust. And I didn't want to keep going with all that. So I made the adult decision to sell everything. Now, um, oh, and I even have something else I made for the yard sale. Um, I took a lot of time yesterday to make it. Um, I'll just show you guys. So what we have right here is a poster that says Power Rangers for sale and it's got all the teams from Mighty Morphin all the way to Dino Fury and it's got the words Power Rangers for sale. Maybe I'll draw a little lightning bolt or I'll go print out like a Power Ranger, like the big Power Rangers logo and then stick it in the middle. I'll figure that out, but this is happening, guys. I'm selling almost all my Power Ranger collection. Am I sad to see it go? The answer to that is yes, because, you know, I poured a lot of money into collecting them, but hey, it's got to happen. Um, so I thought I'm taking a little break from uh, doing it right now just so I could you know, get a vlog in today. Um, I still have all this stuff that's going. All, all these action figures, the Gold Ranger stuff, the two Zords that are up in the closet, which I don't know if you guys can really see. Um, it's the Jungle Pride Megazord, or Japanese version, and then the Gosei Great Megazord. So those are going. Plus all that, those three swords down in there, and then whatever's in there, and stuff I got boxes for. So, 
Oh, and then I have two posters that are down in my dad's garage that I'm also selling. So yeah, guys, I have a lot of work cut out for me today, and it's only 1.30, and I still have to, you know, finish putting all the stuff in boxes. But, you know, it's something that I want to get rid of. The only thing I'm not selling is my legacy communicator because the bottom of it has, like, a lot of wear and tear because um, I, I, I would wear it a lot. So that's one of the things I'm keeping. And plus, I have the Hasbro Lightning Collection Power Morpher. You know, I have the Red Ranger Movie Edition Power Morpher going to the sale also. So I don't need, you know, the the movie Red Ranger Power Morpher. And I have the Legacy Communicator, which will be good um, in case Hasbro doesn't make one. But it'll also be good because with the Hasbro's Lightning Collection Power Morpher, I could use this if I want to, you know, just pretend to, like, be a Ranger or whatever. But anyway... I'm going to put this down so that I could try to get back to work, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, so now it is 3 o'clock, and uh, I got a lot more done with the toys and everything to put uh, up for sale tomorrow at the yard sale. I also have um, my list right here. Uh, it's four pages long of everything I am selling. Um, but let me show you guys what I've done so far. So, as you guys can tell, um, there were a lot of boxes, but everything that you guys see on my bed, uh, right now is all packed and ready, including the Ichigan Buster. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. I did say in previous videos that I was going to review all of Beast Morphers, like, um... You know, the rest of it, um, like Wave 3 of the figures, the Steel Robot Ranger, all the Zords, everything. I just never did, and I apologize. Um, but you know, now I'm finally deciding to get rid of them. Well, not get rid of them. I, you know, I wanted to sell them. And I don't know why I'm telling you that with the camera flipped on the stuff. I didn't originally want to sell them. Because, you know, it's Hasbro's first official season and it made me start wanting to collect Power Rangers again. Like... Okay, with Ninja Steel, I didn't get everything. Like, I didn't get every single figure that released. I got some of the Rangers, some of the training gear figures some of the villains i didn't get every single figure you know because they're five they were a five inch figure scale and i didn't want that um but when i found out about beast morphers and the toys started trickling out i learned that you know the beast morphers figures were six inches the zords had a lot better you know paint articulation and all that kind of stuff rather than what the uh, Ninja Steel Zords better than the Ninja Steel Zords and everything although we did lose out on like one Zord which was the um, Beast X King Zord now I could have imported that from Japan as well but you know when after Super Sentai or Power Ranger season goes off the air people sell the stuff And it goes for more money. So, unfortunately, I did not pick up the Beast X King Zord. And I'm sorry if you guys just saw me yawning. It is because I am very tired. Um, because I'm working on packing up all this shit. So that I could load it up into my dad's car tonight. And then tomorrow, uh, I gotta get up early um, to get ready for the yard sale at my friend's house. Um, but anyway, I'm just taking a little break. I have a lot more to do. Like, I don't know if you guys can really see, but there's not much more to put 
like all these some of them don't even have boxes like some of the open boxes kind of like um sorry guys um kind of like the cheetah claw i don't know how i'm packaging that or the swords and everything i gotta figure that out but that will all happen later um because right now i'm gonna take a break so anyway i'm gonna put the camera down and go relax and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so it is now 4.38 p.m. and I got done putting everything in boxes that has to go in the boxes. Um, well, not everything. Like I still have um, some of these open style packagings for uh, like the Cheetah Claw, the um, Beast X King Mega Bow, and some of the stuff there that I need to put in. Like there they are. I'm going to take care of that later, um, but yeah, I got everything done, uh, I'm waiting for my dad to get home, because I might actually have to take a ride over to my apartment, because I do think I left two pieces to two uh, figures that I'm selling, either at my house, or they could have fallen out in his car, I don't necessarily know, so I'm going to take a look. Uh, when he gets home, hopefully he should be home soon, I think, and then I'll check all that out, but, um, yeah, guys, so this is the next chapter of my life, uh, I'm parting ways with most of my Power Ranger collection, now, there, there's two possibilities of how this could work, people come to the yard sale tomorrow, they see the stuff, they either take it, and and pay the prices or they don't want it at all and i end up coming home coming back home with everything that i was trying to sell which would be good for me because you know i'd have it and everything but at the same time i need to think logically and i need to get a car as soon as possible so i'm hoping that between tomorrow and Sunday, because the yard sale is actually tomorrow and Sunday, I'm hoping that um, it'll work out and, you know, I could sell everything. So I'll keep you guys updated, obviously. I don't know if I'm going to be able to vlog anything tomorrow, you know, because we're going to be at the yard sale a lot and everything. Maybe I'll try to, like, sneak videos, but not really, because uh, I need to stay focused. So anyway... I guess I'll keep you guys updated, uh, you know, maybe tomorrow night or something, I'll make a quick little video, or I'll notify you guys in the next vlog with everything that happened. So anyway, I'm gonna put the camera down and go away from my dad, and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so it is now 8 o'clock, and I'm back at my dad's house. Um, an hour ago, I ran to my apartment to pick up uh, Vargoyle's blaster, and then the Morphex key for Roxy so that I could put those with the two that I'm selling because they were not here they so I guess what happened was when I took everything out on Wednesday I must have either grabbed them and then threw them back in or I just had never took them out at all so now I have those I'm gonna put them in the boxes start labeling everything with the prices uh, tape up whatever boxes need to get taped up and then get them all ready for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing now. Um, after the last clip, I kind of just, you know, like ate dinner and then relaxed for a little and then I left. So pick the camera back up now and I'm going to finish up everything and pretty much get the rest of the stuff in boxes that have to go like some of the swords the the thing like that um some blasters and then some of the little smaller things i gotta find um the uh like a box to put them in uh sorry guys i couldn't think of the word and i'm sorry if it's so bright right now it's literally because i'm standing under my light um but I don't know. I'm going to figure everything out. And then me and my dad have to super glue two pieces so that I could sell them and try to get money for them. I'm selling everything for cheap. 
um, because it's a yard sale and people aren't going to want to pay, you know, ridiculous prices. So I'm going to try to get a couple dollars and put all that money towards a car. But anyway, I'm going to put the camera down and get to work. And I'll see you guys in a while. Alright guys, so it is now 11.06pm and I literally put everything back into the boxes, taped them all up, made the labels, super glued the two pieces, and I've just been working, working, working. Because in about 13 hours um, is when I will be going to the yard sale, so I need everything prepped. I need everything ready. Got to put the prices on them, everything has to be perfect, and I'm so exhausted. Maybe I'll do the rest of it in the morning, I'm not entirely sure, but I do, I did want to finish uh, today's vlog and everything. Um, I don't even know, like, if you guys could see right now, but I have all these that are done and ready. Some of the stuff over here still needs to get like packed in boxes. My Dino Morphers from Dino Thunder are right here. The Dino Brace. The Dino Brace right here. The Dino Minder. And then the Dino Commander. So these are all going and everything. And then some miscellaneous pieces down there what is that um that's my japanese shoto phone samurizer you know uh my japanese legendary morpher my legacy um dragon uh green ranger morpher and then just some odds and ends over here and everything so yeah but um Anyway guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video, because I still do have a lot of work to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything tonight. I probably will just like stick uh, prices on what's here and try to get the rest of this in boxes. So anyway guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back soon with a lot more great content. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to comment down below what you guys want to see next. Be sure to turn on those post notifications so you guys never miss a new video. And guys, this is a new chapter for me. I never thought that I would be doing this, you know. I didn't originally want to sell the Beast Morphers line because as you guys are aware, it was Hasbro's first line of Power Rangers that I collected. And initially, I didn't want to get rid of them. Because, you know, I actually like them. But, you gotta think of it logically. Keep action figures, morphers, and stuff that you're probably never ever gonna touch again. Or, get a car. And a car is very high right now on my priority list. So anyway guys, that's enough for today. I'm gonna put the camera down, get back to work, try to get some sleep also. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.